Hey folks, welcome back to another Ask Elk. The question today is, how full can I fill my recovery tank? Well, how full we can fill it, we learned that in our EPA 608, and that is 80%. Now that's 80% by volume, because we want to leave 20% of that tank in gas phase and only fill it with liquid up to 80%. The reason for that is we need to leave room in the tank for expansion during temperature changes. For instance, if we take a tank out of 80 degree weather and put it inside of a truck and store it in a really hot environment in the sun, that liquid refrigerant is going to expand somewhat and we don't want the tank to become liquid full. Now, to get the calculation to do this, we go to AHRI guideline K, which can be found on the internet. It's a free download, you can do a search for it. The challenge becomes in AHRI guideline K, it asks us for the specific gravity of each refrigerant, which can be challenging to find. So we worked with a partner to get the numbers for this calculation and we built it into an easy to use single step calculator. You can find this calculator at truetechtools.com under the resources section and free downloads. Look for the recovery tank fill calculator. This calculator is a one step calculation now. So there's less things you have to do. You just have to use the single number for each refrigerant to calculate how much weight you can put in each tank. Hope this helps you to do your job better, faster, and easier. And in this case, safer. If you've got questions, we've got answers. Hashtag Ask Elk, throw them in the comments. We'll see you on the next one.